Thanks for joining us for CPSB TV. I'm Ethan Long. And I'm Chase Croker. Coming up on today's show, how much homework is too much? A spotlight on one of our foreign exchange students. And the pros and cons of the dress code. Too much homework can do more harm than good. Some argue that homework should be a thing of the past, while others defend it to be useful. Avery Simon reports the opinions of teachers and students on homework and the reason why it exists. Your words. Does everybody have those? Now, here's like every other high school student, students at Sulphur High must learn to balance the time they spend on their homework and the time they spend dedicated towards their free time. It depends. Some of them spend three, four, or five hours. Some of them look at it for five minutes and then walk away from it. The reason behind homework is often debated between teachers and students. Really homework should be not busy work. It should be to continue what you were doing in class at home. Although it may be helpful. I think it prepares us for the co coursework that's going to be in college. It also has its downsides. It's kind of too much sometimes. Sometimes it's just redundant. Thankfully, some teachers are aware of the struggle that students face when presented with a lot of homework. I know that a lot of my students are, in, I mean, not just my AP class, but are in other AP classes or other classes, and so I try to consider what else they're doing. If you have a problem with balancing homework, you can prioritize your assignments, make a work schedule, or talk to your teacher to explain your situation. Of course, remember that you're only human and it's okay to take breaks in between assignments. Avery Simon, CPSB TV. Too much homework can cause an academic burnout, so try not to overwork yourself. Coming from Brazil to Sulphur High School, a foreign exchange student joins our basketball team and creates a family with his team. Joseph McCaffrey interviews Philippe Michelini about his experience at Sulphur High. Philippe Michelini is a foreign exchange student at Sulphur High School. I'm from Brazil. Philippe says school in Brazil don't have basketball teams. The teams are formed outside of school. Like, we have clubs over there. Uh, and they can, uh, how can I say that, like, like they can pick players from the whole, like, the whole country. According to basketball coach Adam Coleman, Philippe is a talented player. Yeah, Philippe's best attribute is just how competitive he is. Um, he's highly competitive, highly dedicated, uh, just has an unbelievable work ethic. Uh, and then on top of that, physically uh, is very mature. Um, he was able to handle the basketball for us with some physicality and uh, add some things to our team that maybe we didn't have in the previous years at the point guard position. Philippe has been playing basketball since he was eight years old. So naturally, when he got to Sulphur High, he joined the team. I think uh, like all this time here, like being the season with this, this guy, uh, I created a family right here. So I'm definitely not forgetting these guys. And, all the experience we had that was amazing. Even though Philly played towards basketball only one season, it's a season he won't forget. I'm better now than when I come here, so that was a, that was really good. Philly will be going back to Brazil at the end of the school year, but luckily Coach Coleman will tell some colleges about him and see if they might be interested in him playing. That way Philly continue his path with basketball. Joseph McCaffrey, CBSB TV. Go tours. <laughs> Make sure you support Philippe and Sulphur High School basketball to let them carry on the tours. Is dress code important or not, and why? Ryan Mullins looks at advantages and disadvantages of dress code. Many students do not like uniforms. Yes, we will have to do dress code every year. As long as the school board uh, sets that policy, we will enforce it. I think it is important so like the kids can like dress properly and everything but it's also annoying. <laughs> it's annoying because you have to like it's just like not comfortable like they're just itchy and like they just feel stiff and you can't focus on them. Everybody wears the same thing so you ain't gotta worry about someone having something that someone else does. A disadvantage would be you, there's no expression in what you wear. 
I don't think dress code is important because how hard it is to find school clothes. Disadvantages is like you could hide stuff in different pockets as well. So. Dress code is important, but then again, I don't really feel like we need it. Whether we like school uniforms or not, they are here to stay. Rod Mullins, CPSB TV. Approximately 20% of schools in the U.S. require uniforms. For our last segment, Evan Barnes goes to the street to see if students can solve a riddle. Hello, CPSB TV. This is Evan Barnes with Men on the Street. What is your name? Anthony, you better. All right, Mr. You better. Uh, riddle me this. What is an English word that has three consecutive double letters? Murciélago. Watermelon. An English word with three consecutive double letters does not exist. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Bookkeeper. He got it. O O K K E E. This is not okay. Bus. <laughs> 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 what is an English word with three consecutive double letters? Man, you got me, bro. Golly. Would you like the answer? Yeah. Bookkeeper. I have a riddle, Chase. What? What's black and white and red all over? Oh, I have no clue. A dead penguin. <laughs> That's all for today. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to follow us on these social media sites. See y'all later.